and welcome to Whaler Word. Today is Thursday, May 9th, and you're here with Vicky Todorova and Maddie Lombardi. Happy Asian Heritage Month, guys. During this month, we recognize the contributions and influence of the Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islander Americans to the history, culture, and achievements of the U.S. Check out Mr. Laredo's posters in the hallway, windows, in case Manny tests your knowledge on Asian heritage. Mm -hmm. Also, Happy Mental Health Awareness Month. In awareness of the mental health of everyone in our community, we recognize how important it is to take care of ourselves and how we impact others. If you or someone you know is in need, please reach out to the appropriate people in our school or at Fairwinds. There is also much going on the days headed into the final stretch. Please remember to take deep breaths. We're all in this together. Vicky, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Vicky. Important reminder for all juniors, if you plan to attend prom on May 18th, don't forget to stop by the front office to purchase your tickets. Today is the last day, so you better swing by after school. Have you gotten your tickets yet? <sighs> no. <laughs> Senior Assassin is still going on. It's getting heated out there, so if you want to keep up, make sure you follow NHS.SeniorAssassin with two N's on Instagram for more content. Stay safe, seniors. AP exams will continue tomorrow and throughout next week, so make sure you're prepared. And here's Ordain with the Whaler Sports Roundup. All right, guys, I'm here with Jaquan Francis. Starting off with the comeback of the week when the boys like took the victory over King Philip, winning seven to six, Jaquan. Wow, seven to six. Kidding me? Over the week, the girls also won against Ashland, 14 to seven, and Falma, 18 to six. Salem won the regatta against Sandwich, four to one. Girls tennis completely dominated. Rising Tide winning 5 to 0. That's Nantucket for it. Baseball did unfortunately lose to St. John Paul 13 to 3, but softball took the win against MV 22 to 9. There we go, girls. That's he squashed those great ladies. Make sure. We now go to the laundry with the entertainment. If you are interested in painting a mural for Nantucket Bake Shop, Ms. Cristo is looking for a selection of students to assist in painting it. This is a great opportunity to leave your mark on a local business and to earn community service hours while doing something fun. Email Ms. Cristo to learn more about it. On May 18th, the Dreamland will hold its third annual Family Feud where local teams will compete for prizes. The game show is open to the public and more information is on the Nantucket Dreamland website. There's only a few days left until the due date for the book festival essay competition and you can win $1,000 if you enter. Remember, it should be approximately 650 words and should be done by Friday at 11.59 p.m. First place wins $1,000 and there are also four additional prizes of $500. Get to writing. Back to you, Maddie and Vic. Thanks, Alondra. And now we go to Angel with the weather. What's up, Whalers? I'm here with Jay Quan Francis. And it's looking like we're going to have to stay in this whole weekend because we'll be oh. expecting rain the whole weekend with Friday raining all day, having winds up to 20 miles per hour. Damn, so no word this weekend? Really? Nah. Saturday's looking the same. Sunday's going to look like it's raining only in the morning. As we go into next week, though, it's going to be mostly sunny Monday and Tuesday. But then it will rain the whole week, sadly. So rain, pack rain, those though. coats yep. and pack those umbrellas. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Angel. There are no birthdays today, but Mason Lower, Denzel Morris, and Stephanie Estrada Aguilar are all celebrating tomorrow. Happy, Happy birthday! Good afternoon, Whalers. The town of Nantucket needs volunteers to help set up the gym for tonight's meeting. If you're interested, please report to the lobby right after school and let Laura Rainamo know you are helping. We'd love to see you all there. A couple of announcements that missed this morning's filming. Guidance is asking all seniors to update their Naviance accounts. Update all college application results and the school you have committed to. In other news, the registration for the Baxter Waldman Memorial Charity Motorcycle Ride is now open. The ride is June 2nd at 10 a.m. If you don't have a motorcycle, don't worry. Food trucks, music, and raffles will be from 11 to 2 at the VFW. Back to you in the studio. And here's Manny with the Whaler Word on the street. Yo, what is up, you guys? It's me, back in the building today. We got Gavin with us. Yo, uh, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. So make sure to appreciate your teachers for all the hard work they do. Yeah. We're going to go around and ask some teachers some questions. So make yourself comfortable and stay tuned. Yes. Hey, Mr. Pro, can I ask you a question? What is this? You're welcome. What would be your ideal gift for Teacher Appreciation Week? 
something sugar free because I'm diabetic. But um, just being kind to me and if you see me on the street, say hello, makes my day. Are you going to buy me something? <laughs> you know, coming to work is the reward. So this is the gift just to come into school. Hi, Mom. that the school year was over today at 2.20. Uh, Chromebook chargers. You know, I'm a big fan of chocolate, so dark chocolate. I don't uh, do the do dairy, so I love dark chocolate. That'd be, that'd be great. Um, coffee in the morning, and maybe something to eat. <laughs> Fewer meetings. Peace and quiet and respect. And no visitors. And candy. And maybe pupusa. Or chicken fingers on 45. And big house. A new car. When you were a kid, what's something you appreciated about your teachers? Just kindness. The ability to get to know them on a personal level. Oh boy. Um, I do have to say, I remember my middle school English teacher. He was so awesome and he just. He just had really engaging lessons. Like he would dress up as famous characters out of books. So I thought that was really cool. I always remember that. When I was a student, a high school student? Yeah. Yeah. I appreciated teachers that were honest and kept it real. Being funny and honest with me. Um, well, much like the teachers at Nantucket High School, uh, they go out of their way. And I had teachers that went out of their way for me. And I'll never forget it. That they were able to motivate me. Um, that they came, you know, every day. And uh, I think I, mainly I appreciated that they put the right book in my hands when I needed it. Um, I appreciated that they didn't treat us like children and more like young adults. Um, the ones that made the classroom fun. What's one thing students could do to make you feel more appreciated? Um, get to class on time, be respectful and nice, and just come in with a good attitude. Just say hi. I, I just think if students said hi, how are you? Um, it would make the day easier, and a lot of students do. I, I mean, I'm really grateful. A lot of students will say hi, and they'll look me in the eye, and they'll say, how are you today? I, I get the appreciation when I come to work, so students are students. I, I like to see students learn, so when students can demonstrate their learning, and um, be respectful to their classmates, that, that's what I appreciate. To their work. Um, say hello and please and thank you and don't roll your eyes. <laughs> uh, show up to my class on time and if I see them in the market and they say, oh Mr. Proach, I made this dish at home. That's awesome. That thrills me. So I hope to see a lot of that. Oh, students are great, you know. I don't really think that there's anything. I think they appreciate me as much as I appreciate them, so. Be peaceful and quiet and stop visiting and getting chicken fingers. Um, I would love if students would listen to me a little bit more, especially when it comes to um, visiting. Uh, return my bathroom pass. Remember to say thank you and hold the door open for people. Don't grumble so much. <laughs> Thank you. In other news... <laughs> Hi Wheeler Word, it's Gabby back with another fashion vlog. And today's quick fit check is tennis shoes, this Hill House dress, and this Hill House headband. And that's it. Now let's see what other people have in store for us. Walk in where? Okay, so today we have Jaden, and today is his birthday. Yep. Big um, 17. Tuesday. Yep. You know. Okay. Jaden? Yep. 
What do you have on? Okay, let's go down, run down the fit. So we have a Stussy T. Not many yes. people know about this brand. It's a very vintage OG brand right here. And we have some um, no brand jeans right here, gray bags right here. And then we have the Mason Ooh. Mahara on the feet. Yes, yes, yes. And that really elaborates the whole fit and what I got constructed and what I really put on today. Okay. And like, you know what I mean, back to you, Gabby. Say goodbye, Wheeler Word. Bye, Wheeler Word. <laughs> okay, so we have Olivia with that grand entrance to the Wheeler Word today. So, Olivia, what are you wearing today? Um, so, I've got the, the fake Uggs. Okay. Lululemon. Leggings. Forever 21 top. Forever, Cute. Forever 21 top. Cute. Just got my hair highlighted. Super cute. That's it, guys. Anyways. <laughs> Goodbye, Wheeler Word. <laughs> Bye, Wheeler Word. Perfect. I like that. Attention all students. The cafeteria staff would like us to address the food waste issue we are having. If you don't want the food that you got in your school lunch, please make sure you're putting it in the right container to recycle it properly. Because of the waste of food, it's causing methane problems, which we need to fix in our school. So make sure you're disposing of your food properly. Yeah, be mindful. Don't be throwing apples across the cafeteria. Facts. Stay tuned for another episode next week and make sure to follow us on whaler underscore word on Instagram for more content and further updates. Thanks for tuning in to Whaler Word. We look forward to providing you with weekly updates and news. Until next time, remember, stay informed, stay inspired, and most importantly, stay, stay connected, connected, Whalers. Yup. Senior countdown begins now. There are only 20 days left for our seniors, so make sure you make the best of it and appreciate your seniors. What? I'm trying to be casual. Appreciate you. Yeah, you should. Good afternoon, whalers. And welcome to Wh <laughs> Why did, I Why say, did it you like say it like that? Whalers. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to I'm trying to get in my like casual mood. <laughs> Good afternoon, whalers. And welcome. I'm sorry, I like clapping. Important rem reminder. Wait. Stay safe, seniors. Yeah, they better stay safe. Oh, there are not 26 days left. Senior countdown begins now. There are only 21 days. I don't know, I just guess. That's not true. AP exams with... Hey, what's up? Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. All right, from the top. Three, two, one. Good morning, Whalers. This is Snags with you. Oh, I... Gosh, Jay, get it together, man. Yikes. <laughs> um, hmm. So... There we go, boys. Yeah. It's a great job. Well, well, this might just be in the bloopers. So, hey, guys, how's your day been? My name is Jay. Some people call me Snags. <laughs> I don't know why they call me Snags, but hey, guys. You know, you know why they call me Snags? Actually, because I'd be snagging the attention on the Whaler Word. <laughs> I crack myself up, don't I? <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Whaler, for watching Whaler Word today.